Hey guys, this is Shane. I'm going to be going through our tutorial today telling you about interior rendering in Modo 501. What we have here in this tutorial, we're going to talk about the different properties, different uh, selections you can make in here, and uh, spline patch levels and such. Let's just jump right into it. What we got here, we got this uh, chair couch that we're going to be modeling, well, rendering. And uh, if you go like this, you can make it float. See it float? You know, if you go like this, you can make it move side to side. You can be like ban at it, ban at it, ban at it, ban at it, whoop, ban at it, ban at it, ban at it, da da da. Boom, now it's gonna go under. Oh no, look at the couch. Now you can bring it from the dead. And it's like bar, 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 bar. now it's upside down. Bar, 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 bar. Woof, woof, woof. Bar, 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 bar. And then we just flippy. Bar, 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 whoop. Oh shit! Oh shit! You see what's happening in this scene? It's, you don't want that. This, this doesn't look real. When you render, it's not gonna look correct. So you gotta spin that back. There's another trick you can do. You can make it go woof, 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 woof. And you can keep it upside down like this as well. Let's see how that looks in our, uh, as a render here. Make this a little bit quick. So you go over to your frame width for 200, 200, sure. Let's go check this scene out. Let's render. Hmm. Interesting. That isn't going to work. Um, you know, you're just going to have to buy full tutorial to figure out how this is going to work because at the moment this video is already too long. I like close goddamn thing. <laughs> 